So as I'm packing up the apartment, I wanted to show you guys a few things. This is me in my modeling days in Manhattan. This is prom, this is Jessica's prom, our prom in New Jersey. And this is our prom at the Plaza in Manhattan. They were around two weeks apart. And this is me running the Utica Boilermaker. This is Jessica at the beach that same summer. This is Justin and I at the beach that same summer before I went into the Navy. Getting my bike for the last time here. Pretty sad, pretty sad. Here she is. Hey guys, I'm here on 43rd in Times Square. You guys probably recall this shot in a lot of vlogs. I am now leaving Manhattan. Some of my stuff is packed. I still have to pack some stuff. I don't know if you could see the bike on the back from here. Will I be able to see the back of the wheel? Though I'm not sure. I'm leaving. You'll learn where I'm going soon. I hope everything works out for me and I hope you guys help me out on this ride. Luke and I are at the storage unit. I have a few more things to put in the unit before I leave the state. Are you supposed to be in that seat? Get out, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. If anyone is wondering how much stuff you could fit in a Jeep Liberty, Here's your answer. These boxes are all mine. They're all going with me to my new home. Kitchen stuff, books, more books, miscellaneous items, a nice clock I used to put out on my desk. That's my desk. The blanket in the background is covering the glass for the desk. This stuff right here, excluding the pump, is going to storage. So all this stuff that you see, including Luke and me, fit in the Jeep Liberty. Now the Jeep Liberty is gonna be even more packed when I go back home right now, or back to my former home, and get the rest of my things and pack up. So I already brought more boxes after getting the unit on Saturday yesterday to the unit, and I'm bringing these two. The only thing I'm really sad about is the trainer. I have a spinner trainer. I just don't think I'm gonna have room in the truck for it and it's gonna be spring soon. So I should be doing most of my riding outside and that's about it. There is one more thing I'm kind of sad about. That's the CD. I'm not sure how to install it. I may come back and get it before my next move. Yes, you heard that right, my next move. I think you guys will learn more about that later. But um, I'm gonna store this stuff. I'm gonna drop Luke off at Blake's new apartment. We're gonna say goodbye. I'm very sad about that. I, I think you guys know how close we are. But um, that's that. Yeah, I'm not moving on. I love you long after you go. You're gone, gone, gone. So this is what everything looks like. All the stuff I'm not bringing with me to my new home in my storage unit. Wow.
quite a bit of stuff. This storage unit was perfect for what I needed it for. I almost have it packed to the brim. I almost got a smaller one, but obviously it would not have worked out. I'm glad I chose this. I was thinking about it in the shower and a bigger one would just be too big. Left. Luke, right. Good job. Come on, Luke. Go ahead. This is Luke and Blake's new neighborhood in Jersey. Kind of boring. It is a nice building though. Luke's first pee in his new neighborhood. Ah. So this is Blake's new building, where Luke is gonna live. Go ahead, Luke. Blake isn't here yet. I was nice enough to take all her stuff over, well, a lot of it over. And here her stuff is, she's got a new couch from, I don't know, a new bed. It's all her stuff, some of my stuff. Uh, Luke's chair, Luke's papa's on. Luke did a little present in the corner. Does that when he's nervous, but he didn't walk for a while today because we've been moving. That's the bathroom in there. We've been moving and I was gonna walk him first before I brought him up, but I brought him up and then I brought the rest of her stuff up and he left that little present for her. So I almost forgot, this is her view. It is even better than the one in her old place. That is the Empire State Building, that blue back building in the background. And that is One World Trade. The Freedom Tower. Pretty sick view. And then the whole skyline, you can see right here. Windows need to be cleaned up a little, but it's pretty amazing. And this is the Empire State Building up close. Last minute packing on the street with Blake. And people are trying to rob us. So this is where I've lived for about the past two and a half years, 6,000 Monroe Place in West New York. Into the building for one last time. This is where I've lived on the fifth floor. Apartment 14. No Luke here, which is so sad. This is the bedroom. Bathroom, not that interesting. Hallway, we stored a lot of stuff here. Kitchen. Luke on the fridge. Living room. That off, that, that door over there used to lead to the living room, but we switched this up, made this the living room. 
This room right here used to be my office. But we switched the old living room up to my office and then this became Blake's office. And this was my office. I guess it still is and still exists today. All the stuff I hung out to the walls. You can see all this back we had to do. Pretty big office. It's pretty lucky to have this. The room I have now might be this size, it might be a little smaller, so we'll see. Like I was saying before, we had a view, have a view of the World Trade and the Empire State Building from here. Blake's from her new apartment is better, as you'll see, as you see, as you saw, that's the Empire State. And then that's the Freedom Tower, One World Trade right there. This is one of the saddest days of my life. It's not the saddest day. Maybe one day I'll talk about that. But I had to leave my Luke, my Mr. Man, and he knew. He saw me, he saw how I was and he knew and when I left he, he knew. Um, I miss him so much. I plan on going on a couple of adventures with him soon. Um, not that soon, but kind of soon. So we'll do that together and you guys will see it. It's me, bitches. So I'm entering my new home, my new city, Atlantic City. Some adventures to come. No, I'm just kidding. This is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This isn't where I am setting up shop. I am just staying over the night at the trap, and I am totally, totally exhausted. I drove through. I didn't take a break. Not that that's that impressive, but it is impressive considering I've only slept like 14 hours over the past. Four days, which is not healthy. I woke up at seven this morning. It's now almost three the next morning. Don't matter what you say, don't matter what you do. I only wanna do bad things to you. So good, so good. that you can't explain it. What can I say? It's complicated. Just, just pure, pure exhaustion. I, I just had to, to get it done. Um, if I don't get to the trap before three, I think I get charged like $100 or I'm not able to stay or something like that. So I bailed ass and I'm gonna get there like 2.53 according to the GPS. I don't need the GPS, but I put it on just to see like what time I'd get there. Um, and it looks like I'm gonna be okay. As long as I actually like check in, like get to the desk before three, so I'm gonna like go to valet and just be like, yo, I gotta check in and then and then be out. So last night was my crazy drive in the middle of the night here to Tropicana. This is my room. I'm going to play a short session right now because I have to go to my new city and take possession of my new place that you'll see soon. Am I nervous about this move? Definitely. Has everything hit me yet that I moved, that I broke up with Blake, that I'm gonna live in this awesome place that just, just suits me so well? It definitely has not. I'm hitting the Ben Franklin Bridge right now, heading to my new city. Guess what that is? Philadelphia. Here we go, and I am just, I don't even, I mean, I'm beyond words. I haven't been alone, really, my whole life. And it's just, it's just kind of crazy. I mean, you know, because I was with my parents up until I was 18, I was in the Navy. And then pretty soon after, I mean, while I was in the Navy, when I first, the first stages, I was pretty serious with a woman. 
I was pretty serious with a girl, I should say. And then after we broke up, not four or five months after that, I started seeing someone else seriously. And as that was ending, I started seeing another girl quite seriously. And as that was ending, I started seeing Blake quite seriously. So I haven't been alone my whole life. This is, I mean, this is, this is, this is the first. There's no one, there's no one up to bat. There's no one on the plate. There's just, it's just me. It's just me and what I want to do with my life. There's no one telling me what to do. That I have no responsibilities except to make sure that I'm okay. And, and I'm doing okay. And I'm doing well. And I'm doing the things I need to do. And I'm eating healthy. And I'm exercising. And I'm writing. And I'm creating for you guys. And that's all I have to worry about. And it's just, it's exhilarating. I, I'm exhausted right now. So I can't really describe to you what all of this means to me. But believe me when I say that in a few days it's going to hit me and and I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm, I know I'm going to be ecstatic and I just want to make everything out of this opportunity I have. And I want to just crush it. So this is Philly. This is my landlord's office neighborhood. Pretty raw, as you'll see, but I like it raw. <laughs> I like that song from Breaking Bad. Oh baby, I like it raw. Oh baby, I like it raw. Right outside the office, there seems to be a horse stable. Check this out. Whoa. Oh, for carriages. So cool. Look at this shepherd. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. This is my heartbeat song and I'm gonna play it. Been so long I forgot how to turn it up, 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 up all night long. Oh, up, 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 all night long. So I'm at Ikea right now. I am picking up a full mattress for my brand new bed that my landlord got me. There was like a budget, like a $300 budget, and I have $70 more to spend, even though he doesn't want me to spend it. I don't know. We'll talk more about that later. My bed is sweet. It has drawers. Two drawers I had to put up against the table to optimize space, but I'm going to put stuff I'm not using in those drawers, and then the two drawers that are facing the room outward, I'm just going to uh, put clothes in there that, I, that I'm using a lot and I might get a wardrobe. No, I am getting a wardrobe to hang stuff up in. So I'm just picking up pillows right now in Ikea while flirting with the cute sales girl. So these are like the low end pillows, the Jord Rocks. The Gil Palms are the higher end. So I got one, four firm, I got one firm low end pillow, one soft, one firm high end pillow, and one soft high end pillow. And now onto the mattresses. I am getting my first meal in Philly at Golden Empress Chinese. I literally looked up best Chinese places in Philly and this was the second on the list. So I chose it, drove here, and it's on the way home from Ikea. So we're gonna see how it is and I'll tell you guys about all about it. Hey guys, it is my first morning in Philly and I'm feeling pretty rough. I slept for like, I don't know, six hours and my head is slamming. I've had headaches over the past few days. I think it's just like lack of sleep, lack of good food lack of some sort of sugar I'm missing out on. So I'm in the Temple University area, that's my new house, and um, see you soon. So I just finished my first session at Sugar. I'm having my first cheesesteak as a resident of Philadelphia at Joe's Steak Shop on Gerard Avenue, close to Sugar House. I didn't even cash out all the money. I left four green chips in my jacket, check it out. No big deal. I'm off to home on my bike. 
I'm exhausted from the move still. I have to get some rest. I was bruised and battered, I couldn't tell what I felt. I was unrecognizable to myself. Saw my reflection in the window and didn't 